Well, to well watch some of the while we're at Eddington on a Friday night. Well, let's see a Friday afternoon. They start just after 3 o'clock and they've got really good uh, supporting races. A couple of smart uh, horses looking forward to their resumption. One of them goes around a race number two in the form of Steal the Show. Now, let's go back and have a look at his last race day start. It was at Ashburton. The giant hand goes on the Robert Dunn train runner in the trail. Uh, this race taken out the Ashburton Cup by Tango Tara. That's Franco Never in the green colours outside them. But I thought it was a really good effort. He hasn't had that many he starts. He's only having start number 13 on Friday. He was put aside after this run where he goes down a small margin. He's had two trials back. The last one very, very impressive. I thought he's come back nicely. Now um, he's off the front. He's got very good manners and his main rivals, Stablemate Classy Brigade off 20, Henry Hubert off 10 and AG's White Sox off 20. Give him a decent head start. I thought if John could roll him to the front, the bookmakers put up $4. I don't believe that'll last. I reckon that's a really nice each way price. Race 2, number 1 steal is show. Obviously the main danger is AG's White Sox and Classy Brigade. Now a horse we haven't seen for an awful long time is Castel David. Gee was good winning the Cup Day Maiden. What I can tell you is he's trialled equally as well this time and heading towards the Derby. Really, he was a real, who will be a realistic chance in that race. Let's go back and have a look at his last trial at Rangura. This was just last week. In front here, uh, you can see him getting right away. Now the horse that runs into second is race day rival Dashing Major. He runs into second and um, Castel David, you can see him with a high head carriage with the blue nose roll. They run a decent time here. Sam Otley will pinch hit for Bob Butt on Friday. Sam takes the drive barrier six. Main dangers will be Pace and Pride and Dashing Major. I like him. The bookmakers put up three dollars and again I don't believe that'll last. Race six, number six, Castel David. I thought a really good bet as I said the main danger could be that horse that ran second in that video in Dashing Major. They're going around in race number seven is Cranbourne. Gee's a very good horse. Very underrated He's got a good form line around him. Let's go back and have a look at his win two starts ago. Here he is in the 1-1, the Brent White Colours, giant hand on, Steve McNally driving. Coming off the back of Laver to win this, uh, he ran some really good time to do this. After this, he ran fifth behind All About Faith in a 154 uh, four last mile. He's a tough horse. He can overcome a bad draw. He's got a great record. Six wins, 15 starts. Sure, he's taken on a nice field. The likes of Rock and Roll Rod, an Italian lad, but I think he's underrated. Race Seven, number nine, Cranbourne, and again, he's around that $4 quote, so he is backable. Main dangers, Rock and Roll Rod will go forward, maps to lead, and Italian Lab was quite good at Ashburton last week. Let's have a look at the three. Friday afternoon for you at Addington Raceway. Kicking off early, race two with Steel the Show. Open around $4, that's backable. Race two, number one. Castel David, the star trollist, I believe is actually one of the best bets of the day at around that $2.90 to $3 mark. Race six, number six. And the Quaddy must goes around in race seven. It's number nine, Cranbourne.